Hi Leo, welcome to your Twin Flame Connection uh, read-in for the end of November. Let's dive right in, kind of a bonus. Um, let's take a look, this could be for whoever, whether you're in separation or not. Let's just see what's going on here for my Leos. You can place the, I'm gonna do the Twin Flame, the masculine, I mean, you and your person, you can put masculine, feminine, wherever you want to. At the end, I'll get messages from them. All right, let's see where you're at with this person. Okay. We have compromise. All right, so I do see coming together and figuring things out. So there is an understanding here. And I, I don't take any of these in reversal shadow work, all right? I feel like there has been some work done or there will be work done, but I also feel like somebody's coming to terms with the connection. They understand what's 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 going on, all right? They may not have in the past. They may have avoided. They may have ran. I don't know. They could have done anything, all right? I do see an offer coming in, but I see it more in the spring. I see that this may stress you out, okay, because you feel stuck with this connection right now. I do feel like this is a strong soulmate for you and um, it's right, soulmates right here for you. They may have deceived you in the past too, okay? Very well deceived you. So with the twin flame connections, I know I'm doing this as the end of November, but oftentimes I can get a prediction to where and how things might move and, and move forward. So I do see an offer, an actual offer coming in, maybe in the Aries um, season, uh, Gemini, um, Taurus, okay, season. And you could be connecting with one of those signs as well. But there definitely was uh, some sort of deception that happened here. But I see coming to terms, this deception, whatever happened, really triggered, really caused a lot of grief, okay? And this waiting period is causing a lot of grief for you, right? You feel stuck. You don't know what to do. And that's why this reading is kind of showing you what's happening here. Your person is doing shadow work, and as you should be as well, um, as if you're in a twin flame connection, doing the work within is how you're going to bring this union together, okay? And with the compromise card there, I feel like there's going to be an understanding. Like your person does understand what the connection is and what, what has happened, okay? And so maybe a compromise, maybe compromising with we are not together just yet, but we're doing the work. And I know we'll be together by the springtime. You know, or things will start moving by then. You know, I can I can get over this grief and feeling stuck, and I can know that things are progressing. Okay, so I do see an understanding of that. So I'm gonna pull one card each for you guys. Again, like I said, you can choose whether you're the masculine or feminine, but I am putting your card on the left. The left card is usually the feminine side, masculine is the right side, but your choice. You do what you want. Knowledge, <clears throat> knowledge for you. Really earthy energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be on your mind, but I feel like this is you learning, gaining new knowledge, understanding the twin flame connection, really diving deep and figuring out what's going on, understanding shadow work, understanding time, fluidity, understanding what the, the bigger picture is of twin flames is. Your person, King of Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy, definitely have you on your mind. I always see a big lion there. Okay, they definitely have you on their mind. <clears throat> All right, there's two, two here. There's a line at the bottom here too. Could be another fire sign. All right, they are very active, very, they have a vision, they have a future, they like to keep going, they just move, 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 and, and always doing things, always planning things, very in their head, very action-oriented, a leader, very strong, and they may have caused a lot of grief for you because they, um, they deceived you in some way. <clears throat> Maybe you thought you had a future with this person. But right now I can see them in this fiery energy of looking at their future. They're, they're looking forward to their future. The sage energy, they might be older than you too, but that's that wisdom wise, learning something, understanding something, bringing all their experience and all your experience um, and, and using that knowledge to grow, okay? And that's what's also happening here in this relationship. <clears throat> I do see work in progress, Knight, um, Knight of Pentacles. It's definitely a work in progress here. It is moving slow than you want it to, but it is moving in the right direction.
All right, you're in your head about working this out. You want to build a foundation with this person. You have the Four of Wands, the Page of Swords. You've got them on your mind. You want a communication. You have Eight of Pentacles, work in progress. Keep working on yourself. Keep learning what you're learning. Keep studying. Keep doing whatever you're doing. Something you're doing, the experience you're gaining, and the knowledge you're gaining is doing wonders for you right now. Is doing the, You're learning so much so much i feel like for some of you if you are serious about this journey you may be teaching this later on or helping others on, on their path as well all right but you will be moving to the next stage in this relationship it will you will be able to build a foundation for the future and then you're manifesting it i feel like you're in constant thought and, and creating you know how to create your future that's also learning about the law of assumption learning about the law of attraction learning how to create from within all this knowledge that you're figuring out it's like you are working on it you're doing it all right you're making this work your person oh, i love it look at this something's gonna happen huge transformation here you have the king of pentacles you have the ten of pentacles and you have the scorpio card strong earthy energy you could be connecting with the um taurus Virgo, capricorn aries leo sag too as well and you have scorpio energy here too this person all right there's something happening there's a transition there's change this person is going to turn around and be ready for a commitment they're the king of fire their leader they're they're so material focused right now so on their vision their business their work all right they have the king of pentacles showing up for them making money making money and building a foundation they could be an investor investing in something right but they're going their next phase something's happening big change a new beginning a birth of something new they're going to be ready for the next the next level with you all right there will be some sort of offer but look for it more during the spring time they are understanding the connection and I feel like they're starting to see that you're the one for their future. You're the one. They're coming in with king energies and this huge change, huge transformation coming in for them. Look at this. Eight of Cups in reverse is coming back around. If you feel abandoned from this person, they're coming back around. So if you're grieving and feel stuck, which I'm getting that energy, they're coming back around. Right, the Ace of Swords, ultimate outcome, breakthrough and awareness, understanding the connection, communication, moving forward and coming in. Right, Seven of Pentacles, return of investment, finally seeing movement. You have so much money of Pentacles, material, wealth, family, nurturing, healing energy coming in here. Keep working on what you're working on, Leo, the knowledge, the growing, the understanding how to create. Understand the power of your words and thoughts understand that if you don't already but keep working with it if you feel like grief is getting to you reset reset if you don't understand shadow work look it up find the information get the knowledge understand how to work with that if you really do feel like you're in this divine connection do the work to bring yourself together i see you really really studying and working hard you have a lot on your plate you're working progress you're the eight of pentacles working on the nine of pentacles your person here is showing up as somebody who's very independent very well off very ready very mature as they go through whatever change they're going in you could and the marriage cards are all here king of pentacles ten of pentacles the foundation four of wands okay all coming in for you marriage marriage is the next phase here commitment strong commitment all right coming together very strong for you so expect communication from this person all right evolving the relationship is evolving let me see if there's any messages from your person here as well Our connection still affects me. You inspire me, all right? That you inspire me card is that triggering. When somebody can walk away from a trigger and not grow and not even care, then it, it's not, a, it's, it, I don't feel like that it's a spiritual connection, the soul connection, it's a connection that came and went. When somebody experiences a triggering and a twin flame connection, both are, feel it and both go through some sort of enormous, it accelerates the spiritual growth, okay? You inspired this person, you inspire me, tells me this person was triggered by you and was pushed, accelerated into some sort of spiritual lesson, spiritual growth. I'm in a much better um, headspace right now, okay? 
and I also get I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it just yet and I'm more affected than you know so Leo I hope that helps you in your situation and helps resolve some of the grief or the stuckness that you feel I feel like this is going to move sooner and quicker than you think as we move into 2022 um, all right I love you guys take care